Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back to the Quantum Consciousness uh, Coaching Platform. Now, in this module, which will be module uh, three of the advanced level, now we're going to get into the superconscious part of our minds. So the superconscious mind. So I'm going to teach you now a technique that you can use now to establish a connection through your higher self to the superconscious mind. It's sort of a meditative trance technique. And what you'll basically do is you'll, be able, you'll basically be able to contact that what we call that infinite source of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, where you'll get information, you'll get nudges, your intuition will be more heightened. All the information, all the, the actions that you desire to help you to achieve your goal, they will be downloaded now to your subconscious mind or uh, through your the superconscious mind. So let's get into the superconscious mind. Now keep in mind, uh, you've gotten to this point because you have done the work, right? So you've ha you have the understanding, let's do a review. So, you have, so, so far you should have the understanding of our physics, of our consciousness, and how everything coagulates together to form matter, right? Then we move up to your levels of the brain, your consciousness, the subconscious, the conscious mind, that critical divide, and the higher self. So now you have this awareness of how things work and how things orchestrate, right? Now you have also should be able, to, you also should have been able to remove those limiting beliefs, those subconscious blocks, so those should have been removed and uh, taken away all right so now this leads us to this next level okay and this is the higher self or the superconscious part of our part of our minds okay now let's review the steps to basically reprogram or change our subconscious or your subconscious blueprint remember the key factors are this and this is what we went over in this entire coaching platform so you guys you guys have learned how to do visualization the meditation Remove the subconscious blocks and how important your thoughts are to keep them focused on what you desire. And also, you have an understanding and awareness of what the ego mind is. Okay? So those factors alone will help you. Okay? They will move you forward so that you can be able to tap this part of the consciousness or this part of our universal consciousness, which will take us to another dimension. And I'm going to show you how it works. Okay? So what is the superconscious mind? Okay, the superconscious mind does not reside in any one of us particularly. The superconscious mind, look at it as a universal mind of collective consciousness. It's the infinite source of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge that exists in the entire vast of the universe. It, it encompasses every area of our universal existence. The superconscious mind would be the mind closest to God, the next level up. It's the mind or that intelligent uh, energy source that gives us all the information to achieve our goals, our dreams, our desires, okay? It is it's that part of our consciousness. Now, how do you tap into that? You will tap into the superconscious mind using the higher self, okay? So they work together. Let's show you how it works. So your higher self will be the bridge between the subconscious and the superconscious, okay? Information that you desire to achieve your goals or anything of that sort will always come through the higher self, the higher self via the superconscious. So the higher self plugs into the superconscious, gets the information, funnels it back to you through your subconscious, the subconscious interprets it, processes it, and you get the, intui the intuition, the nudge, and all these desires, okay? That's how it works. So what I'm gonna show you now, we're gonna take a powerful step. We're gonna be aware of our higher self. But what if there's a way that we can just use our higher self or bypass the higher self and go right to the superconscious, right? Because remember I said, the superconscious is connected to everything. So there's a way, you're not going to particularly bypass your higher self, but you'll focus more on that aspect of the superconscious. In other, in other words, you will still be incorporated with your higher self, but you'll have more focus, you'll have more attention on that part of the consciousness, that superconscious mind. And that increases your concentration, increases manifestation, increases all facets to deliver us what we desire, okay? So I'm going to show you how you're going to tap, tap into that and the languages to use. So basically, to enter the superconscious mind now, because you've done the work, you've removed the blocks, you've, you've basically disengaged the ego, you kept it at a minimal, so now we have less resistance and we can go on and I'll show you how you're going to do this very simple meditation. So all you basically do is get yourself in a relaxed position, okay, you're going to close your eyes, and what I always do, I always put my both hands across my chest and I listen to my heartbeat, so what I do, I close my eyes and I take these nice deep breaths. I inhale and I exhale and I inhale and I exhale and then once I feel relaxed and centered then I'll say the command. So how do you know when you're relaxed and centered? 
Well, you know you, when you're relaxed and centered because your heart rate, the rhythm of your heart, you feel your heart, it'll start to slow down, so you're in a relaxed state. So once you relax, you'll just say this command. I am now ready to instruct my super conscious mind of infinite intelligence. Okay? So are you going to say, I'm now ready to instruct my super conscious mind of infinite intelligence. Okay? Once you say that, once you say those words now, okay, I rest for another few seconds and I feel another calmness and then you go into the command. So how do you command the superconscious mind? Here is how you command it. You basically you will speak to it in a present moment awareness and you must speak to it in a command format. You don't act when it comes to accessing your superconscious mind, you do not ask, you command. Okay, the superconscious is a mind of knowing. So if you're asking, you're already proclaiming that it's not yours. Remember super the superconscious mind has information, knows all. So that means you have to get into a state of knowing that what you command will manifest, all right? So how do you do that? So basically, you can say things in a sort of, okay, I am now ready for you to show me to reveal this. I am now ready to make an extra $10,000 in income. Show me the most easiest and effortless way to achieve that. See, those are examples of how you command the superconscious. See, see how you use words in the present tense? Notice I, I said, I am now ready to make an extra $10,000 in income. I didn't ask that superconscious mind how it's going to be done or when it's going to be done. I took time out of the equation, okay? So notice I said I'm now ready, okay? So that's how, that's how you access and you process information to the superconscious. And once you say, once you give the command now, the superconscious mind now will start to process the information. It will be funneled to you in a more precise, in a more concentrated format. Now, what are the languages that the superconscious will communicate to you? Of course, to that, to that higher self. Here, the, here it goes. So you get a communication in the following. Through your desires, through your dreams, through visions, through intuitive nudges, okay, and through what is known as inspired action. Okay? Let's talk a little bit about what an inspired action is. An inspired action is a unconscious or subconscious move or instinct that you didn't think about but it feels like the next logical step. It just feels right. That's an inspired action. That's how the superconscious will get you to, to achieve your desires, right? So remember, you can ask for anything. You can ask for as many things. Okay, just keep in mind, you must command it, and you must put it in a present moment awareness, and you must take time out of the equation. You must put things in a present moment of now. No, I don't, I didn't say, I am now, show me, I am now ready to make an extra $20,000 a month in income. See that? I didn't say that. I said I'm now ready to make an extra $20,000 in income or $10,000 in income. Please show me the most easiest and effortless way to achieve this, okay? I am now ready to own and experience my own very dream car. Show me the most easiest and effortless way to achieve this, okay? Those are just examples. You can ask for anything. I'm now ready for you to reveal this. I'm now ready for you to reveal that. I am now ready for you to do this, to do that, okay? But once you give your command, you must always finish with, I like to say, make it so okay that now that drives the command factor in once you give your command now you must let it go and now your superconscious mind will respond to you through one of those languages it's a confirmation so you'll either see the synchronicities you may get a dream you may even come through an individual so the languages the superconscious mind uses it uses all facets of our consciousness to communicate to us okay so we use people use your friends they use your social media they use your dreams they use visions okay they use instincts it uses intuitive nudges it uses your desires and of course inspired action and the beauty in all this guys is that once you access this part of your consciousness you never have to worry about how it's going to be achieved okay keep the how out of it because now you've gotten to that point where you learn to take time out of the equation right now another important factor to, to consider when it comes to superconscious mind is remember it's a different level now you have a belief and you have a knowing superconscious mind is the mind of knowing so it knows for certainty that you'll get what you desire so you have to believe and take belief to the next level of knowing leave belief now just know that what you command it will manifest right so this is the aspect and this is the power of using your superconscious mind guys all right so I want you guys to take that into consideration and now you have all the formulations to complete and use these techniques as a lifelong uh, method now. Now you have all the information now that you can use 
to complete and create a life of happiness, manifest your desires, and remember, you take time out of the equation, detach, and it will all be yours. All right, guys? Thanks so much. I'll talk to you again.